Hey guys, welcome to Math in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to be doing distributing in 60 seconds. Let's give it a try here. Um, a lot of what you'll see for distributing is going to be just something like that, where it's just one number in front of the parentheses. And for that, it's a pretty simple one. All you do is you take the 3 and you multiply it times everything inside the parentheses. Now, that's probably something you didn't have too much trouble picking up. So I'm going to take it a step further. A thing that a lot of people have trouble with is when you have something like this, you have a couple numbers in front, but only one of them is getting distributed. So let's get into it here. What we want to look for is the number that's in front of the parentheses. So take a second. Tell me completely what number is in front of the parentheses. All right, if you said 3, you're really not quite there. Because, in fact, we have a negative 3 in front of the parentheses. I know you're probably saying, that's not negative 3, that's minus 3. Uh, well, really, negative and minus are the same thing, so we have a negative 3 out there. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to take this negative 3 and distribute it. So negative 3 times x, give me negative 3x. Negative 3 times positive 5 would give me negative 15. This 2, we haven't done anything with the 2, so it just stays in a spot there and it gives us a 2 out front. Um, just to finish it up here, we'll combine the like terms, which is 2 minus 15, which would give us negative 13. And that finishes off there. All right, guys, I hope that makes sense. And again, if you have any more questions or any comments on all this, please feel free to comment. Let us know how useful you find these or if there's improvements we can make. We're happy to hear about it. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you again soon. Math in 60 seconds.